Coach Shirley for the first time this year. Yay. <laughs> you want to pull up to the mic a little bit? Sure. <laughs> Coach, welcome to the show. And uh, first, before we, we talk about the season, you got to go on a, a little uh, trip over Christmas break to Costa Rica for a mission trip with the Tiger Athletic Mission Experience. How impactful was this trip for your team? Wow, it was just, um, it was definitely an incredible experience for our team. Um, we, throughout the first semester, we had just like a ton of growth spiritually amongst our team. And um, you could kind of see God working among our team as like we prepared for the trip. And just going over there was definitely an eye-opening experience for not just me, but for our players. And um, I think it, it was a great experience. Tell us how this trip impacted you and your walk with Christ. We got to hear your testimony in chapel a couple weeks ago and just uh, the impact of what you've had here at ETBU and how the team's impacted you. But how has this trip impacted you with the, the trip and your walk with Christ? Well, I think one thing that um, I really took away, I mean, I obviously knew this was true before going on this trip, but one thing that I really took away is just how big of a stage that we're provided through um, athletics. And one of the, our like guide or whatever on the trip, his name was Jesus, and he, um, we had a lunch with him one day, me and Marcus and um, his girlfriend. And just one of the things that he really talked a lot about was, how sports can open the door for opportunities to just talk to people because that's something that um, is just a bond that athletes have with each other. And, you know, I got to see that work as we, you know, had opportunities to like talk with the Costa Rica national team and just even in the schools, like the girls playing soccer with mm -hmm. the little kids and stuff, it just provides so many opportunities for conversation and things like that. So it was just an incredible experience. Rocky talked last week just about the, the witnessing part of it, learning to talk a little bit of Spanish, but just the impact she saw of just giving out Bibles, seeing her teammates affected by talking to different people, and just uh, one moment she was out with Caitlin Hollingshead and talking to a lady there, and they went in, and just afterwards the lady talked to Rocky, and they connected just about things in life and things they're going through, and she's kept that relationship fresh coming back. So those are the things I got from seeing from Rocky, but with that, how has, uh, how do you think this has affected the walk with some of these players individually? Well, I think going on the trip, you always think that you're going over there to serve and you're going over there to help people and to give to them. But what you don't realize is what those people, how those people affect you. And, um, I think that was one of the first things that we saw was like, you know, whether it be like some of the kids, it was like a little kid at the school. And in Rocky's case and that group that got an opportunity to talk with that lady, um, you know, she like affected them. Rocky was just at a point in her relationship with God and, you know, stuff that she was struggling with that she needed that. God knew what she needed and she needed to meet that lady at that point. And um, it was a special relationship for her to build at that time in her life. And it's going to continue to like help her build and grow on her relationship with God. And that's something that I think all of them saw. It didn't matter where they were in their walk, that they continu can continue to grow with their relationship and continue to like invest in, um, yeah. you know, get closer to God in everything that they do. Yeah, those, those God moments are really cool in life to see it happen, especially on trips like yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. So coach, it's now spring season. It's your season. Uh, you have six seniors back on the team. Talk about the progress so far as you started practice last week and how you've been able to bring the team together. You got to play some in Costa Rica two games, which probably helped prepare the team a little bit. But, uh, you know, looking at the practice of about a week and a half now, you know, what do you see with your team overall? Well, this Monday was actually our first day back on the field with the rain and stuff last week we kind of worked in the gym and did some other stuff but you know this year we have those six seniors this year and five of those kids have been here for four years and have invested a lot in our program and have played in a lot of games and they know our system and they know what it takes to be mm -hmm. successful and so um, kind of the neat thing has been to see how they've 
taught the younger kids because there's there's a lot of teaching going on right now and it's you know some of it's coming from us but a lot of it's coming from the players on the field Mm -hmm. just taking those younger kids under and showing them things and you know answering questions for them and helping them figure out what it takes to be successful and what it takes to be a part of our culture and those kids are falling in line because the seniors know once they leave they've got to have those younger kids are what are going to continue what they've helped to build here. And so um, they've done a great job of, you know, instilling that in them. How fun has it been to watch these seniors develop from their freshman year till now? I kind of consider that my senior class because I've seen them all the way through and seeing them grow to the point where, you know, they're in their senior season and they've got a chance to do some special things this year. Well, that's, I mean, this has been a really special group for me. Like, um, you know, a lot of these kids I've known for a lot longer than just four years. I knew them through the recruiting process and just see, you know, how far they've come just maturity wise and socially and athletically, spiritually. Uh, you know, it's like watching your kids grow up. It's it's a neat thing to see. You know, you hate to see that their awesome careers are coming to an end. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, like I'm excited to see what their senior year has in store and excited exactly. to see the great things that they're going to accomplish. So Yeah, I'm really excited because I've gotten to know all of them and watched them grow as, from that super regional championship to going and watching the, the championship last year, seeing them all grow through their walks with Christ and develop in, in athletics and in, in, on, the, on the field. It's going to be fun to watch them play this year. Yeah, for sure. We um, we had a senior when they were freshmen that came in my office just crying the first week of school, and she was like, Coach, these freshmen don't care. And I'm like, I promise you, just give them time. <laughs> give them time, and, you know, they've got to learn. Because every, yeah. every senior thinks that they never acted like the freshmen do. Right. But um, I, I kind of, like, just talked to that senior a long time. I was like, just give them time. They're going to they're gonna get there. Um, and then after we won the Super Regionals that year, when both those freshmen hit, off, hit walk-off home runs, I walked up. Her, I was like, I told you they cared. I told you they got it. <laughs> and so it was just neat to see the process through their freshman yeah. year and them continue to grow. So, yeah. Well, you start next Saturday at home against yeah. Pacific. How excited are you to open up at home the 2017 season? Well, I'm, I'm excited that we get a chance to do it here. We've had a ton of improvements down at the field and just, you know, playing's what it's all about. That's like mm-hmm. the fun part of it. We're putting in the work right now and we're um, doing all the preparation and stuff, but playing's what they enjoy. And so to have an opportunity for them to get out there and do what they love and just witness that, that we're really excited about that. So tell us a little bit of what the fans will see newer this year at Taylor Field. There's going to be a lot of new stuff, not just, um, you know, facility wise, we have new sideline fencing, um, you know, they've dressed up the outfield walls. There's going to be a lot of stuff like on the entrance that's different. You know, our facilities going through a lot of changes right now and they're all positive, like exciting changes. So we're really excited about that. They're still working on some of them. Um, and then, you know, we've transitioned over the past couple of years to a Nike team. So we'll have all new uniforms this year and, um, kind of a fun little exciting new one so i'm excited for those to get here and hopefully. you also have the uh, raised helmet logos on the helmet and, yeah and you tweeted out on instagram the other day uh personalized bats this year yeah we have a couple of the custom lxts and then um the raised decals were something new you know last year we went to the we um in honor of our, our football team, we went with the football helmets, mm-hmm. and we'll still continue to wear those. Those were The girls really liked those, but we also have the raised decals, which are really cool. It's and you neat. always try to set a trend every year with something different. And so this year it looks like it's the raised decals a little bit, and, and then maybe that, that special uniform down yeah, on the road. Yeah, maybe that. <laughs> it's it's got to be different. It's always fun to see what you come out with to see uh, what the trend, what other people might follow after right, that. Right, <laughs> So, all right. Super Bowl next weekend, Atlanta, New England, you don't care. I I mean, I wanted the Cowboys to make it, but I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't think there'll be a lot of people from Texas watching. So. Except for Houston, because it's there. Yeah, well, it's that's there. True, but. We'll be watching. We just won't care really yeah, who wins. Yeah. So, Coach, thanks for talking to us. Good luck the rest of this week as we get ready for next weekend in a home game against Pacific. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.